Hi, welcome to our uh, mini lectures on pre-calculus. Today's topic is finding values of trigonometric functions given information about an angle, problem type 2. So what is type 2 here? Let's just go and take a peek. Uh, there is an angle given and we are told in which quadrant it belongs to, like here's angle theta in quadrant 4, and we know what is trig function, in this case cosine. Cosine is given and quadrant is given. What we are trying to find out is, well, how about other trig functions? How about uh, tangent and cosecant here or the rest of them? Let's just uh, quickly review what we just said in the last uh, lecture as well, which is, uh, well, we have an angle here and uh, so this is our situation and remember this is say x this is y this is r and uh, you, you remember the sign of the angle theta, so let's call this thing theta was y over r and cosine was x over r and then tangent was y over x and uh, cosecant was r over y and secant r over x and cotangent x over y and r squared is x squared plus y squared. Now you have one of two options. Make your circle to be unit circle and r to be 1. That makes uh, forces you to use lots of uh, fractions. Sometimes a student makes uh, mistakes dealing with fractions and taking common denominators and such so it might be better to get used to circles where the radius isn't one and perhaps avoid uh, some common errors with respect to arithmetic let's see how does this show up in our calculation so uh, this what I'm going to do here might be slightly different from what you see on the text and somewhere else, but it's, they're all the same. So we have an angle who is let's in quadrant 4. So let's just uh, quickly draw something that's reasonable. So we are in quadrant 4. So you could be going around like this or a negative angle that goes like that. The cosine of this is 12 over 13. Now let's make our life easy on ourselves. Cosine is a ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse. I could say, yes, I could say my radius is 1 and this is 12, 13 and go ahead and find that one. But this fraction I'm afraid might uh, uh, trip you. So let's take uh, the triangle and blow it up by a factor of 13 so I'm going to take this one to be the hypotenuse and this one the numerator to be my adjacent so this is still x over r which is cosine of theta it's all fine now when I try to find this other side I'll be a little bit easier. It will be a little bit easier on me because, uh, well, I don't deal with fractions. That's that's all in difference. So this one being this vertical that is missing, let me call it y, huh? Y. So what is the deal? Y squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared. So y squared is going to be 13 squared minus 12 squared. By now you should be all familiar with these numbers and should be automatic, but let's go ahead and do it. 169, 144, you subtract, you get 25. Now comes the big test. What is y? 
pause for a moment and uh, perhaps make a mistake and then uh, never make that mistake so again we have y squared is equal to 25 what is the y uh, most students will say automatically that's 5 but look uh, we said uh, we are in quadrant 4 we are down here so what do we know about y quadrant 4 y is negative is that right that's the whole thing about this problem did you get that we have to be at negative 5 so here is uh, this side is negative 5 okay you got that now uh, cosecant of theta what is cosecant you remember that's a hypotenuse divided by by the opposite is that right cosecant uh, cosecant cosecant hypotenuse divided by r, r over y so r over y is what r, r, r is 13 uh, y is minus 5 and so this minus 13 5 so you can put that minus anywhere minus 13 5 uh, minus fraction 13 5 this is preferred in mathematics but whatever you do that's fine how about tangent tangent is y over x so tangent is y over x so it's minus 5 over 12 minus 5 over 12 uh, while we are here how about the rest of them such as what uh, well cosine you already know how about sine sine will be reciprocal of a cosecant or just y over r so minus 5 over 13 uh, what else uh, cotangent cotangent of theta is going to be uh, ratio of x over y so that's going to be uh, reciprocal of that 12 over 5 so we have so who's missing uh, tangent cotangent sine cosecant uh, uh, secant secant is missing what is secant of theta secant of theta is r over x is that right r is 13 x is 12 so if we, they had asked us these other ones we have them as well <coughs> so again the main uh, crux of the whole there are two things to this one is to simplify life by blowing up uh, our uh, triangle so that we get rid of fractions instead of insisting that the radius to be one and then getting stuck with a bunch of fractions uh, here you'll be dealing with fractions your y will be a fraction and so on uh, I don't think that's worth it so we blow the picture up make everything to be whole numbers and then operate out of that second when you are applying the Pythagorean theorem whatever you are solving for pay attention so of course uh, uh, when it comes to x it's plus plus minus minus when it comes to y it's of course plus plus minus minus so <coughs> you want to use quadrant <coughs> information that you have to get the plus or minus of x and y correct now let's go practice one more time <coughs> we are in quadrant 2 okay so we are in quadrant 2 and cosine so we are just draw something that doesn't have to be all that accurate so we are in quadrant 2 we are in quadrant 2 cosine is minus 1 fourth okay <coughs> this picture <coughs> what number should I put so cosine you remember cosine is the ratio of x over r this thing uh, just uh, recommends to you what is r r is always positive so that's 4 your x is minus 1 <coughs> what is left here is uh, how about the y well notice that the y is in second uh, quadrant y is going to be positive so I'm going to let r to be 4 x to be minus 1 and I'm trying to find y from there from the fact that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so x is minus 1 squared y I'm trying to find 
and r is 4 excuse me y squared so y squared is going to be 16 minus 1 that is 15 and I want to get y I have choice of plus or minus square root of 15 what is it that matches my situation what matches is positive values since y is uh, here in uh, quadrant 2 is y is positive means I am picking that one <coughs> Okay, you follow that. Yeah, so what is cosecant? Cosecant is ratio of R to Y, is that right? Cosecant, cosecant, let's go back. You want to go back every time you have doubts, uh, go back and rewrite all of this all over again, draw the picture, reason it out. Every time you have doubts, repeat the story to yourself rewrite everything from scratch from a sheet of paper repeat 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 until everything settles down in your mind so r here is what was r r here r was 4 and this is radical 15 so 4 over radical 15 we are all done with how about tangent tangent our theta is a ratio of y to x again if you have doubts what was tangent repeat the entire story from scratch and on a fresh sheet of paper do that so many times until all mistakes are gone so <coughs> uh, y was radical 15 x is minus 1 when you divide them you don't want to leave it like that it's going to be odd if you leave it that way minus radical 15 and uh, that uh, what if we had other things to look for like uh, well if you have cosine the easiest thing to get is secant secant would be reciprocal of that if you have cosecant your easiest thing to catch from that is sine is a reciprocal of that you have tangent cotangent comes easy at you uh, reciprocal of that one and so on <coughs> let's see we have two more problems for you to do we are in quadrant three so let's draw some representative picture we are somewhere here so we, this is the angle we are dealing with we are at the location with sine is minus 513 so we learn our lesson that the denominator of this letter we are uh, radius and this one better be uh, the numerator it's uh, it's the y sine was uh, remember sine of theta is y over r well how about x there's the x and so now we had said r is 13 y is negative 5 what is your x we know, before we go any further, we are in the third quadrant, so x we know, uh, quadrant 3 means x is negative. So x squared plus y squared is r squared. x squared and y squared is r squared. So x squared becomes 13 squared is 169, 5 squared 25, subtract make 144 take square root but we have plus or minus which square root okay so we take uh, we have to take plus or minus square root of 144 which one plus or minus which one well our x is negative so here since you are supposed to be in quadrant uh, 3 that also gives you a hint x better not to make a mistake here okay secant secant is going to be ratio of x to r excuse me, r to x uh, secant of theta is r to x so it's going to be 13 over minus 12 cotangent of theta is going to be ratio of x 
to y, so it's going to be minus 12 over minus 5, and that turns out better be simplified. All the reciprocals come for g sign, uh, so that gives you cosecant reciprocal of that. Reciprocal of that is what? Secant will give you uh, cosine, cosine minus 12, 13. If I have cotangent, I have quickly tangent, which is reciprocal of that, 5 over 12. So we have all six of them. Last but not least, uh, this is something very similar. We are again in quadrant 3. So we have an angle coming here. Uh, we have cosine of this. So we remember cosine of an angle was x over r. So this has to be minus 12. This has to be 13. So again, we set the <coughs> radius to be the denominator, x and y chosen from the numerator. So this is going to be minus 12. Just from the problem we just did, this is obviously minus 5. And then you can answer the same set of questions. Cosecant, cosecant of an angle is what? Uh, r over y. So my r is 13, my y is minus 5 civilized way of writing it is this way. Tangent is the ratio of uh, y to x minus 5 to minus 12. Again, civilized way of writing it 5 over 12 and so on. So what did uh, we learn here? Well, we practiced these ratios again. We uh, wrote the uh, relationship for uh, arbitrary circle, not necessarily a unit circle. What we learned is to avoid fractions and getting uh, injured by all that uh, common denominators and such, we better blow up our picture. We blow up our picture by choosing two sides of the triangle to match our numbers. Okay? numerator one side, denominator one side, depending on whatever uh, trick function you are using. So write your trick function and then you, ha you are given some uh, sine or cosine or whatever it is, match the numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Always remember uh, R, R is positive, so if there is any a minus number, it has to go to some other component of your fraction. Other than that, it's all straightforward. So, uh, good luck and God bless. Until next time.